Let's take a look at how we can use the question tool in Google Classroom. Now at the moment, I'm on the classwork tab of my uh, course. This is where all of my assignments are going to go. And I'm gonna click on the create button. It's where all the fun stuff is. And we're gonna look for the question tool that appears halfway down. Now anytime you see this little question mark icon, that's the symbol for the question tool or compared with the little clipboard for the quiz assignment and the bookmark for material. So you can tell what kind of assignment is just by scanning through uh, Classroom. Now there are two ways that you can use the question tool in Google Classroom. You can ask a multiple choice question and you can ask a free response question. We're gonna do one of each here as an example. So let me go ahead and create a question. And uh, it looks very similar to an assignment um, post in Google Classroom. Uh, one of the differences is at the top, rather than saying title, it says question. We're actually going to type the question up here at the top. So um, I'm going to just do a really simple one. You know, how are you feeling today? We'll take kind of a, a temperature question. Maybe students are coming in. You just want to check in, see how they're doing. Now, at the bottom of the question, this is the important part. This is where we can toggle between short answer and multiple choice. I'm gonna go ahead and do a multiple choice question for this one. Now this feature is not designed to be used as a quiz or a test. Um, you can only ask a single multiple choice question. So we're gonna keep this simple. I'm gonna say okay. Um, the third option is not great. Okay, so those are my three choices. Now you're going to see all the uh, common elements that you see in other areas of Google Classroom, grade categories, points, due dates, uh, things like that. When I'm asking a question, if it's, uh, I do this a lot for like bell ringers, warm up uh, style assignments. I usually schedule the due date for this question, you know, right at the beginning of class. So if class begins at 10, maybe I'll say that this is due by 10. Uh, 10. So students need to come in, sit down, and then immediately answer the uh, warm-up question for the day. Okay, so that's one option there. We have our topics uh, as before. Now, it's important that you pay attention to the toggle switch here. It says students can see class summary. Now, with a question like this, if a student is really not feeling well, they're not having a great day, they probably don't want to announce that to the rest of the class. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the class summary. Students won't be able to see the name of the student who says not great, but they will know that one or two students have made that choice. Um, in the instructions, I might say, um, your response will not be shared with the rest of the class. This is where you would put your instructions, type in complete sentences, you know, things like that. Now, you're going to see the same familiar four buttons at the bottom of your post down here as we have uh, in other areas of Google Classroom. That means that I could ask a multiple choice question based on a video, based on an article that they want to read, a file from Google Drive, an image that I upload. It really opens up a lot of opportunities to present students with information and then ask a, in this case, multiple choice question about it. Let me go ahead and post this to my class. I'll say ask, and that'll go out to students immediately. Now I'm going to show you what students see here in just a minute. So to the teacher, it's going to look like this. I don't have any um, assignments turned in yet. Let me switch to the student account um, over here and give you a sense of what this looks like. There we are. All right, so here's the question. How are you feeling today? The student will see the three options. We'll say great. Say turn in and their response will be recorded. Now I left the, um, I didn't turn the summary on, so that's all they're going to see. Now as the teacher, I'll go back here, let me refresh this page, and you'll begin to see the responses um, come in. If I go to view questions, whoops, sorry, wrong class. This one here, there's my response, it says one. Now this is the class summary. Uh, right here. If you had left that toggle switch on, students would be able to see those details as well, that little bar graph. Um, because we didn't, um, they won't see any uh, response. So that's an example of using the multiple choice uh, version of the question tool. Let's do a quick uh, free response question. I've got this one ready to go already. Um, very common way to use the 
question tool is for exit tickets, asking students to summarize something that they learned during the lesson. And that's what I've uh, set this up for. So again, we have the same kind of general things. You're going to ask your question up at the top. I've gone ahead and typed in some guidelines for my questions. So um, I use these all the time for all of them, type in complete sentences, be specific. I don't, you know, look at length. They look at, um, you know, detail, uh, my points, categories, uh, due dates, all of that stuff. Uh, we have an extra toggle switch down here, though, that I need to um, talk with you about. So we already talked about, um, you know, viewing. Uh, so this one here, students can reply to each other. So that means that students will be able to see one another's written response um, and then reply. So basically it turns this into a discussion board, which can be a nice option if you want to uh, do that in your class. The uh, second toggle switch over there on the right allows students to edit their response. Now, generally speaking, having both of those on at the same time can cause some issues because what a student might do is just type out some nonsense, read all of the responses from their classmates, and then edit their initial response with something more legitimate. Um, if you're doing an objective question where there is a right answer, then you probably only want to, uh, you, you probably don't want the uh, students can edit answer left on. Um, if you want to be completely anonymous, you would turn them uh, both off and they wouldn't be able to see and reply to one another. So it just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, you can, uh, you know, toggle those accordingly. So this is an example of an exit ticket. Let me go ahead and save this um, and I'll show you one final example. Uh, for math teachers. Um, this is a, a fun way to incorporate more math into your classroom. This is a um, my weekly math challenge. So uh, this is an interesting one. It has a video attached to it. So there's uh, lots of videos out there, video story problems, where someone will present a challenge to the students. They will watch the video and then they need to solve that challenge and reply with their response. So this is a pretty simple uh, thing to set up. They're going to watch the video. They need to have a scrap piece of paper out. They're going to write down important numbers and information presented in that video and then they're going to solve using math uh, that question. Now they're not going to show their work in Google Classroom. Instead, they're just going to reply with the response. In this uh, instance, the question is, you know, should I buy this massive package of Twix candy bars or, you know, 25 individual uh, little Twix bars, which is the better deal? Kind of a, a shopping question. Students will come up with their answer and then they're just going to reply in Google Classroom. They're going to say, buy the yard of Twix or buy individual Twix bars. But... I'm going to call on three, four, five students to um, share their answer, and they need to be prepared to justify how they came to that conclusion with math. So they're going to do their actual, uh, show their work on paper or Google Docs, however they want to do that, um, and produce that on demand if necessary. So the opportunity to attach a video, a document, an article to a question uh, open up, opens up a lot of uh, great options uh, for teachers. This is great for world language, um, you know, Watch his video and then describe uh, what you saw, what uh, they were saying in the language that you're studying. Hopefully you'll come up with some creative ways to use the question tool in your class uh, through Google Classroom.